Okay, let's talk about the P71, known to you as the Expanding Project Planner. So the Expanding Project Planner comes like this. You get five sheets per package. The Expanding Project Planner is part of our specialty storage page uh, family, so it's made out of a little bit thicker, heavier gauge plastic. This is what it looks like empty. You're going to find three pockets on the front, one big pocket on the back, and what you may not realize is there's also a big pocket in the middle. So the big pocket in the middle is 12 and a half by 12 and a half. So your papers with the edges on them are going to fit perfectly in there. Maybe you want to put all of the 12 by 12 paper for that, for whatever you're using that for in there as well. Each of these pockets has this jumbo sort of clown nose flap and it's going to tuck in. I should have drawn on this one and then you'd be able to see it. It's going to just tuck into the slit on that page. No, you probably can't see that because it's clear, huh, Sue? So it's just going to tuck in, and that's just going to hold that in there. Now, all of the pockets are gusseted out, so they are really going to bulk out, uh, hence the name expanding, which is how it expands out. Let me just show you how these, how these things look, right? So you, there's a variety of uses for the expanding project planner. Um, this is all of my son Max's senior year stuff right so we've got awards and photos and cards and all kinds of goodies and I've also got some paper that I bought specifically for this project and it's just stuffed right there in the middle so you can store it's project planning so here's this is the senior year project in terms of like scrapbook project planning it's great for keeping themes and sentiments together so this is all football things. I've got football paper in the middle. I've got all the embellishments that go with football. I've got my big chipboard letters that I'm going to use that say CWA, my son's school. And again, I've got that 12 by 12 paper in the center for that. So keeping themes together is perfect. This is a quilt project. And these are all the pieces for that quilt just loaded into the pockets. I've got the big piece of fabric for the back of the quilt here, and then I've got the quilt instructions. Now I can take this project with me. It's quick, it's easy, everything's cut out, everything's staying together. So any type of project that you might be working on is going to store in your um, project planner. This one, I cut the, the three-hole punch off the end, right? So you see this, the three-hole punch here? I trimmed it off this one so that I could use these vertically in my paper storage boxes. So I'm just going to caution you, well, they do work that way. Um, if they're packed in there, you know, because they do gusset out, you run that risk of them getting hung up on each other. But it is a good way to store uh, things together. So this is, and this one I'm just going to load up. I've got all of these pieces here that I'm going to use for this one project. You can see there's really just a ton of stuff piled up here. So I'm just going to load all these things in here just kind of to show you um, how much you can actually. So I've got a couple of pieces of fabric. I've got all these little um, like three-dimensional flowers. I've got all these little um, sort of flat things, embellishments. I'm going to stuff all those in here, little paper cutouts and such, all going in there. So now all the things that I've purchased to create this project are all going into one place, and they're going into one place all at one time. So when I'm actually ready to work on this project, I can grab this project planner. Got my little pieces that are loose here. I can grab my project planner and I can know that I have everything that I'm going to work with for this project in one easy to get to spot. So even, so I've got some big flat things, I've got the actual album itself that I'm going to make and I've got some more chipboard accents. All of those things are going to go in this big back pocket. Get in there. So I'm going to put my clown nose tab in, lock that down, and then I've got the papers that I'm going to use. So you can see this is a cork paper, so it kind of needs a little bit of protection. 
kind of a basic paper. And then these have a big tab at the top, right? It's even bigger than kind of your normal half inch tab, might be a three quarters or an inch. But those are all going to fit right here in the center pocket. So now I've got all the pieces that I bought, so big and bulky things, a lot of flat things, three dimensional stuff, the album itself, and the paper, and they're all stored away in one pocket. And then you can use something like our Shut Your Flap tab to just label that with whatever it is, mixed media project or mixed media album, whatever you want to call it. And then whether you're using the three hole punch and it's in your scrap rack or your spinder binder or in your paper storage box, it's going to be easy to find exactly what you're looking for. So the, pro the expanding project planner, P71, great for all kinds of things, putting things together by project keeping things grouped together by theme. You've got three pockets on the front, one big pocket on the back, one extra large pocket in the middle. They come packaged like this and you get five expanding project planners per package with the P71 expanding project. Planner.